you're looking to dive into topics on how to live a happier, healthier, more fit, and long lifespan, then you've come to the right podcast. Living the dream with me, Coach Damian Evans. Together, we will explore the topics on all things health, fitness, and wellness. Together, we will be lifelong learners on this journey to living the ultimate dream. What up, Dream Team? Coach D here coming at you with another growth mini-sode. This will be a bite-sized episode with the goal of setting a growth-minded intention and focus for the upcoming week. Each mini-sode is going to offer a quote that encapsulates the theme of the week. And after the quote, we're going to dive into a weekly focus, something small that we can concentrate on for the following seven days. As well as a physical activity and a nutritional tip, these are going to help assist us in working toward a more healthy and optimal way of living our own dream life. And each mini-sode is going to end with a recommendation for the week. This recommendation could be anything from a podcast, a book, an article, a paper, anything that's going to help better educate ourselves toward the overall focus of the week. And if this is your first time listening to a mini-sode, the goal is to listen on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday to be ready to start the challenge of the week on Monday. Listen to just one mini-sode every week, and then as that week finishes, move on to the next week's mini-sode. You can start all the way over it back at mini-sode number one, or join in with us right here at mini-sode number 17. These mini-sodes will only be as beneficial to you as you are willing to make them. So if you're playing along with the weekly focuses, the physical activity, and the nutrition tips, it's going to help you be much more successful to do this with someone in your life. So grab an accountability buddy. Share on your social media platforms the challenges of the week. You never know who you're going to inspire, and you never know who is quietly watching and rooting for you. You'll be far more likely to be successful with a support system and a social network that is chasing similar goals as you as well. And as you're working on making your life healthier and you motivate your network through your positive actions and your lifestyle choices, the ripple effect is unimaginable with who will be touched by you motivating and posting and including others in your journey. So let's dive into this week's growth mini-sode. This week's quote comes from the American consultant author, and lecturer, and TV personality, Barbara De Angelis. She says, love and kindness are never wasted. They always make a difference. They bless the ones who receive them, and they bless you, the giver. Love and kindness are never wasted. They always make a difference. They bless the ones who receive them, and they bless you, the giver. I think about altruism a lot. The definition of altruism is the belief in or practice of disinterested and selfless concern for the well-being of others. Those who possess this quality typically put others first and truly care about the people around them, whether they have personal ties to them or not. I think of the Mother Teresa types, right? The crazy kind people that make their life's purpose to serve and help others. And then I think, can a person be ever 100% altruistic because every time I do something nice for others, it actually, it really makes me feel great in return. Every time I do an act of kindness without anyone even knowing about it, I still get the benefit of feeling good about myself. So am I really doing this for others? 100% for others? Am I doing this act selflessly because it makes them feel good or is it a little bit because it makes me feel good too and really does it matter that's why I absolutely love this quote no act of love and no act of kindness are ever wasted they benefit the other person in amazing ways and they benefit the giver in extremely impactful ways and the ripple effect of that person feeling better and you feeling better And then that spreading to others that you guys come into contact with, I honestly think that if we're going to go really deep here, that is actually the meaning of life. And I know, yeah, corny, sure. True? I honestly think that there is nothing more true than that. So that's why this week's weekly focus is every day this week, we're going to perform one act of random kindness that no one will ever know about. Altruism is the principle of moral practice and concern for happiness of other human beings and and or animals, resulting in a quality of life both material and spiritual. When the act is done anonymously, the brain gets rewired to get reward from fulfillment rather than reciprocation. I'll say that again. When the act is done anonymously, your brain is rewired 
to get the reward from fulfillment rather than reciprocation. You're in control of training your mind, and you're in control of wiring your brain to be rewarded by feeling good about yourself being kind, caring, generous, rather than hoping to receive something in return for your kindness. So every day, this week, one act of random kindness that no one will ever know about. This will be the one week that I won't ask you to post about what you did. Now, I'm definitely not limiting you to only one act of random kindness. This is just one that no one knows about. If you want to do one that's anonymous and then a bunch that you want to post about, I I, I would love that as well. Or maybe just share some ideas on your stories as to some things that we can all do for people around us that may be acts of random kindness. Obviously, the most common one that people really think about is, I'm going to pay for the person's coffee behind me in line or buying a sandwich for the panhandler sitting outside on the street corner, or some food for their pet. Maybe give your network some ideas and ways that they can help spread kindness and love. And in turn, you're not only helping those that they help, but you're helping the person immensely as well. Yeah, I know, it sounds really corny, and it sounds hippie, it's whatever. But I'm telling you right now, make these changes and see how your life changes in return. You're going to be blown away. So let's change gears a little bit here. After the weekly focus, let's go on to the physical activity tip. This is a little bit less serious and, and a ton, ton of fun. My tip for you is to invest in, drum roll, a rebounder. <laughs> what the heck is a rebounder, you ask? Okay, so a rebounder, rebounding involves jumping on a mini trampoline for a myriad of health benefits. This helps to increase blood Uh, and lymph circulation, along with being super fun, and it's a low-impact, amazing way to increase your heart rate and work on your cardiovascular endurance. Okay, hear me out. I know this sounds really weird, but have you ever jumped on a large, full-size trampoline? It's so fun. Have you ever jumped on a trampoline and not smiled? The answer to that last question is for sure no. They're really fun. So, Now, I'm talking about not not a full-size one here. I'm talking a a little tiny trampoline that's about three feet in diameter. I can hear you asking right now, why should I try rebounding? That sounds really crazy. Well, here are some of the benefits. It works on the abs, legs, buttocks, and deep back muscles. Super low impact, yet it does have a similar bone strengthening mechanism as weight training or plyometrics. Not on the quite the level, but it does have a similar mechanism. It's great for the skeletal system and increasing your bone mass, which is great for those as they start to age. Uh, again, it also helps improve your endurance and strengthens your heart, and it increases your lung capacity, and it lowers your blood pressure, just like a lot of different types of cardio. Um, It actually gives body G-forces up and down that our body rarely receives, which definitely helps with its resiliency. It stimulates the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system. I know this is probably something that's out of your wheelhouse. This is still uh, a little bit new to the science uh, realm. It's, It's like your waste removal system. Lymphatic system is your waste removal system. It helps with your immune function as well. I'm going to link an article that talks a little bit about how rebounding can help your lymphatic system if you're interested. And you can kind of go a little bit more in depth there. And then I will be talking about the lymphatic system in a masterclass episode in the future because I think it's going to be huge in in the health space. It actually um, also rebounding also has anti-inflammatory effects. It improves your balance, your coordination, your overall motor skills and your self-confidence for sure. And then there's these attachments that you can put um, that are like safety bars. So that makes this a usable modality for almost anyone. They come in different sizes and different qualities. They have ones with springs or springless ones, ones with rails to hold on to, ones with exercise workout routine DVDs that come with it. If you go on Amazon right now, you can do it on your phone even while you're listening to this. Search Amazon, search on Amazon Rebounder, and you'll see a huge selection I have one at my place. I've had it for a long time, and I use it all the time. Just make sure that if you live in an apartment, you have neighbors. Uh, you got to be a little bit respectful there. The spring ones do kind of make a little bit of noise. Um, sometimes when I'm short on my steps or I just want to move a little bit after a large meal, I just get on that thing and I just bob up and down. I don't have to jump very high, but it does help me get that increased movement. And yes, I know it sounds weird, but I'm telling you, it's actually really fun. 
If you have trouble with lots of impact when you do cardio or you don't want to take up a huge amount of space buying this huge expensive treadmill or or strider or whatever, I dare you to go get a rebounder and tell me you don't love jumping on it. And if you have little ones, it's going to be a hit as well, I promise. All right, moving on to this week's nutrition tip. On the same subject as the lymph system and how it can be positively impacted by doing your rebounder workout, you can also help your lymph system operate optimally with the food that you eat. Getting the lymph system healthy and functional can help it better remove the toxic sources of aches and pains and inflammation and and fatty deposits and overall just make you feel better. So add these foods into your diet to help with your lymph system. This is where you might want to write it down if you're interested. Uh, Cranberries, dark leafy greens, garlic, love garlic. You can put it pretty much in anything and make that dish better. Ginger, turmeric. I feel like ginger and turmeric have like tons of great superfood qualities. And then seaweed and citrus. So cranberries, dark leafy greens, garlic, ginger, turmeric, seaweed, and citrus. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about the immune system, this week's recommendation is to listen to the Model Health Show podcast with Sean Stevenson, and it's an old one. It's episode 166 titled, The Secret Life of Your Immune System. This was released on July 12th of 2016. Yes, it's old, but it is such great information. It's like you open up a book and learn about the immune system, and Sean does a really, really great job of explaining it. It's definitely worth a listen. You're going to understand your body and its immune system a lot better after listening to it. So uh, check out the link in the show notes of this mini-sode. And that's it, my friends, for this week's growth mini-sode. Each week, we will focus on something new and dial in a different aspect of physical activity and nutrition. Share with your friends and your family and hold each other accountable. And post on your social media stories some cool, random act of kindness ideas Post a video of you jumping on your rebounder or eating your lymphatic system supporting foods and make sure you tag me and share your journey. And let me know if you have any suggestions or tips that would help your Living the Dream team that I can discuss on future episodes. I'm going to be right here with you working on making us stronger, happier, and healthier humans. Until next time, friends, keep living the dream. Post on your social media stories when you change your human nature view to a more champion mindset. Post a video of you balancing and proving your longevity or of your brand new microgreen garden. And make sure you tag me and share your journey. 
Let me know if you have any suggestions or tips that would help this Live in the Dream team out and that I can discuss on future episodes. I'm going to be right here with you, working on making us stronger, happier, and healthier humans. Until next time, friends, keep living the dream.